Okay, I'd like you to go ahead now. We're gonna continue working on our binary search tree. And I'd like you to add this code to your tester. So here I have created a test class. I don't know if I showed this to you last time or not. And uh, I've created a new binary search tree. I've added these nodes. And in doing so, I'm, I'm trying to replicate this tree right here, okay? So uh, to do that, I have gone in and added these uh, nodes here. We haven't created the add method yet. We're gonna do that later. Right now, I would like you to just write this code right here uh, to basically, so that we can test out all four parsing algorithms. Uh, I'll do better than that, Miss. I'm gonna show you the pre-order code right now, and then you write the other three. So I'm gonna show you the answers now. Hopefully you've written them. Copying it for me isn't going to help you. Rewriting them yourself will help you. So let's look at that. Here is the in order. And here is the post order. Remember, we're trying to build up this binary search tree class. So we're just adding as many methods and features as we can at this point. So we got the in order and the post order. And you can see that the only difference between them is that the print statement is in the middle in the in order and is at the end in the post order. And in the pre-order, it's at the beginning. Other than that, they're pretty identical. Obviously in the pre-order, we recurse on the pre-order methods. In the in order, we recurse on the in order methods. And in the post order, we recurse on the post order methods. Here is the level order method. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over the insert method. I'm going to give it to you, and that will finish our day. The only parts that you have to do is add the height method and the delete method. The delete method will be challenging the height method. It's okay to look up the algorithm on the internet and to reuse the algorithm, okay? And to do the add, we're going to need two add methods. Here is the add method that the user will see. The user only cares about giving us a value. That's the only thing they care about. And then we're going to call this other add method, which has a different set of parameters and also has a return type and is basically what they call a recursion helper. So this mad method is the public face of add, and this private add method is the recursive helper. The recursive helper algorithm is similar to the algorithm that I showed you in class, but what's different about it is that you see it has a return type and it has this weird feature where it has these multiple recursive calls here. And then there are these multiple return statements. This is a little tricky and it makes it, the, the fact that Java does not have call by reference makes this code a little bit tricky. And so I'm just giving it to you here so you can implement it. Your goal today is to get this ad working. Notice that there are two ads. Here's the public ad, and here is the recursive helper. Once you get the ad working, you should be able to test your test code and see if you can build the tree and print it using the level order parsing that I showed you. I'll put this back up in a second. Let me just run it quickly. Okay, here is the sequence from the level order, F, B, G, A, D, I, C, E, H. And if I look at the tree, you can see F, B, G, A, D, I, C, E, H. So I know that the tree code is working. You notice like Mr. Franovic suggested, we're using the compare to instead of the greater than less than sign because we don't know what kind of values are gonna be stored. They're gonna be some generic T value. And all we know is that the compare to has to work because we specified that when we built the binary search tree that the T generic has to implement comparable.